I'm Joseph Weisberg, and after a short career as a CIA officer, and a longer career writing about the Cold War as both a novelist and a writer-producer for the TV show The Americans, I came to believe we need a whole new strategy if we're going to find our way out of our long-term conflict with Russia. This means re-examining some of our core beliefs, including the idea that the Soviet Union was the hostile aggressor in our relationship during the Cold War, and we only defended ourselves from their attacks. The Soviets stationed nuclear missiles in Cuba, pointed at us. But we put nuclear missiles in Turkey first, pointed at them. The Soviets armed Korean and Vietnamese soldiers who killed American soldiers in those two countries. We armed Afghan fighters who killed Soviet soldiers in that country. After the Soviet Union collapsed, this pattern of mutual and fairly equal aggression continued. We began constructing a missile defense shield in Europe, while insisting it wasn't intended to block Russian missiles. Russian warplanes have repeatedly buzzed our planes and ships in international airspace and waters. We imposed wide-ranging sanctions that have done considerable damage to Russia's economy. Russia has used a wide-ranging social media propaganda campaign to undermine and destabilize our political system. This exchange of aggressive attacks doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere, or at least not anywhere better. If we want to put an end to the conflict, we're going to have to look at it in a different way. What have we contributed to the hostilities? What common goals do we share with Russia? What are some ways to extricate ourselves that no one has tried yet? There is a way out of the Second Cold War, but it's going to require a completely new approach to the conflict. This book is an unusual mix of my own personal and political journeys as I search for that new approach. Hachette.